Okay, now for balance sheet categories, as I mentioned earlier, current asset, think of the example of accounts receivables. Increase meaning if we compare current asset balance with last year's balance. Think of the example accounts receivables if last year is 5,000, this year is 10,000. The increase $5,000 at the same time, think of increasing sales revenue by $5,000. Okay, so journal entry accounts receivable, if it increases the right side, definitely there's the type of revenue, um, service revenue or sales revenue increase. So if this part compared to last year, there was $5,000 differences, that means sales revenue, there's incorporated $5,000 of non-cash <coughs> revenue. Okay, so any increase in current asset other than cash, we would subtract this $5,000 because statement of cash flow, we just want cash. So we don't want the net income part that has nothing to do with cash. Okay, as opposed to that, if we have a decreased current asset, if we collected accounts receivables, last year's balance is $10,000, this year is $5,000. The difference $5,000 of accounts receivables decrease, think of it as collecting accounts receivables. So the $5,000 we would add it if current asset decrease. Okay, for liabilities, if we increase current liabilities, meaning last year's current liability was $5,000, this year is $10,000. The difference is an increase in current liabilities. At the same time, the left side will be some type of expenses increase. So the amount of expenses was already subtracted in net income, we want to add it back. Okay, so current liabilities, accrued salary expenses, an example that I give you. If last season compared to this season, current asset increase, that's the part, the current liability increase, that's the part that expenses was already subtracted in net income, so we want to add it back. The other example, if current liabilities decrease compared to last year, think of it as paying off accounts payable. So if you pay off liability, you definitely use up the cash, so we subtract that dollar amount.